watching News 13 with Yvette Bruce Wall and meteorologist Dave Cacciarella. This is News 13 Primetime. Theme park leaders and creative planners are hoping to up the ante in Central Florida's theme park wars. They're descending in Orlando this week from around the world for an annual trade show that's expected to pump $47 million into our local economy. Central Florida On Demand Scott Feist is on the trade show floor with a sneak peek at the new technology being unveiled. The sounds of the season at the Orange County Convention Center. They've already started putting up everything in the outdoor space. It's the best of both worlds. The International Association of Amusement Parks and Attractions, also known as IAPA, stages their annual expo each November. You can buy everything here from uh, popcorn to double loop and roller coasters and everything in between. Orlando is IAPA's home through 2019. On average, 25,000 people attend. Everybody's out here. And uh, we put a lot of time and energy into uh, making this show good for ourselves and our customers. Jason Mons is the general manager of SNS Sansai. The day before the IAPA Expo's opening meant final touches to the sales booth. You know, we always hope to uh, make a couple sales here at the show. The roller coaster designer hopes to catch the eye of theme park designers with hardware like El Loco. This has a uh, Guinness Book of World Records for the, or had the Guinness Book for the uh, steepest drop. Hoping visitors will drop some extra dollars playing games at their parks. Daytona Beach-based Bob's Space Racers. Theming is, is very important to a lot of the parks, and so that they want it to look a certain way to fit into an area. Bob Space Racers recently installed new games at Universal Studios Florida in front of the Simpsons ride. Here, Whack-A-Mole is now Whack-A-Rat. And over the next week, more creative ideas are sure to come from the IAPA gathering. What better place than to have the largest convention the largest attraction convention in the world, it should meet in Orlando. In Orlando, I'm Central Florida On Demand Scott Feist, reporting on News 13. Folks from more than 100 nations are expected to attend, but unlike a theme park, keep in mind the convention is not open to the general public. But don't worry, our Scott Feist will bring your reports from the convention floor all this week, right here on News 13, starting at 6.